If you watched the last video, I'm sorry, we left you with a cliffhanger, but it left us with one as well. We had to have our truck in the shop for unexpected repairs. Now, the first shop that we took it to told us it was gonna cost anywhere between eight to $12,000 to fix it. So we took it for a second opinion. We're gonna go pick up the truck here pretty soon, and we're gonna let you guys know exactly what they found was wrong with it, and it is a whole lot cheaper. Let's go get Pearl. Y'all asked a lot of questions in the comments on the last video. I uh, wanted to get into more detail. So the truck is a 2017 with 140 something thousand miles on it. So we did not buy it brand new. We bought it used. When we bought it, it had 98 something thousand miles on it. So we put a bunch of miles on it within the last year. Also, we had an extended warranty on it, but that warranty is no longer valid because we have exceeded the mileage on that warranty. Now for the good news. The previous diagnosis is that there was metal shavings found in the fuel filter. Four days prior to that, I had pulled off the fuel filter, replaced it. I didn't see any metal shavings, made me question the whole situation. We wanted a second opinion and we got it. And what they stated is that there was no metal shavings anywhere in the whole entire fuel system. But they did find something else wrong. Why does this do this here? You gotta go all the way up, no, all the way down. There. I'm teaching her, y'all. We've had the most problems here with this thing. What is going on with that? <laughs> I don't know. He just drained all the coolant, cleaned it out, got everything else going. So the fuel pump and the fuel tank. Is what it was. Based on what I've seen in it, I think you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate everything y'all did. Thank you. Thank you. Well, be careful. Thank you. Oh, I'm driving the other one. You sure you don't want to drive the Ford? No, nah, I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah, I'll call you. Okay. Oh. Wow, it's really hot in here. Oh, the temperature's on high. This truck's been running the whole time we were inside. It is hot in here. Oh, I'd like to say thank you to the whole team of Blue Gorilla Garage. You were timely and you were honest with us. You can't ask for anything more from a mechanic shop than those two things. Now that we got the truck back, we're gonna return the Hummer back to Kelly's parents' shop so that we don't have to worry about driving that thing around anymore. Love it, but it is kind of a uh, smelly. Hey, Nick. Hey. Oh, can I borrow a wrench real quick? A wrench? Yeah. Uh, what size wrench? What was it, a half inch to take that? It's half inch truck. Yeah. Yeah. When so, take off? Uh, I'm going to do the battery on the Hummer. How you going to do that? Uh, the, we got the Ford. We just picked it up. Do you need to kind of lock it or do you need to go and disconnect or anything? Yeah, you want to pop the hood for me? Here. And she will sit here until, I don't know, when we use her again. That should save the battery. Goodbye, Bear Jew, until next time. She's always there for us, Kelly. <laughs> okay, now we have got the huge task of putting the camper back on this truck. Let's see how long it takes us to do that. This is the part Kelly's been nervous about. I'm not nervous about it. I just know it's going to take a long time to get it back on, probably. Maybe. I'm a little OCD. It's going to be a lot of going back and forth and trying to get it centered. I like things to be as perfect as possible. I just have a condition. You have a condition? I have a condition. And we also just got off the phone with my dad. He said he's going to stop by and see how things have gone. He owns a Dodge, by the way. So if you've been watching for a while, when we had our trailer stolen before that, we totaled the Hummer and we were driving that truck for about a month while the Hummer was in the shop. No fuel problems here. Yeah. <laughs> we know, we know. <laughs> My dad has two Dodges and what you might not believe is his first one has how many miles on it? 800,000. It still runs, same no. engine. Still runs, it's been at a shop for yeah. over a year. <laughs> that was for an airbag recall. Okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, we won't go into the details on that. That's another story. Yeah. I think you can, go, oh. I think you can back it yeah, up, I've babe. Plenty. You're scaring that's, me. Yeah, that's, that's, that's maxed out. I wouldn't stand up and do that. That's, that's I think you're ready, I think you're I'm, good. Hand I'm not me Mr. That. Safety, but golly. Hand me that. <laughs> 
Okay. So we haven't even told y'all what was fully wrong with the truck. What they found out was that there was issues with the fuel pump inside the fuel tank. We had that replaced and then the housing for the fuel filter was cracked as well. So it was leaking a little bit of diesel around there. And we also had the coolant flushed in it. The total was only 2,090, which is so much cheaper than eight to 12,000. How much room you got over there? Okay. He's gonna want it perfect. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I remember is that that this side needs to be closer, or that just comes out more. So really, the whole truck needs to go over that way just a hair. We got it bumped, worked out oh, very nicely. You would like the left up if I didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably need to do that, huh? If my dad wasn't here, Kelly and I would not have a license plate. I wouldn't even be thinking about it. I wouldn't, I didn't think about it at all. But you can go ahead and start going down with it, honey. We were able to bump it here. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now we got to back it up a hair more. Y'all ready? I think we finally got it. Look at Kelly. She's doing it. Calm, cool, and collective. I actually am the one that's stressed out right now. We completely changed positions on our way we're feeling about this. This wasn't so hard. Kelly and I made a big deal about nothing. I'm just glad that my dad was in the area and wanted to come by and just give me heck about owning a Ford because he's a Dodge man, but he still loves me anyways, right, Dad? Hey, family, what do you do? I know. <laughs> mm. okay. Bye-bye, thank you. It's a good-looking truck still. <laughs> yeah, I washed it. Oh, you washed it? Oh, wow. Wow. Two new tires on the back and everything, yeah. It's, yeah. Got all the lights go off on the dash. Finally fixed that problem. See, you have issues on a Dodge, too. Those were my fault. The next task for today is insulation up there. On the last video, we got tons of comments about the truck, but we also got comments because we showed you some insulation that we received in the mail. Now that insulation is going to go under this mattress, under for under the bed. It is right above the cab, and so air just circulates through there and it makes it very cold. But someone did send us a video of someone else that owns a Palomino truck camper where they removed that black frame around that window back there and they shove insulation all back there because our heads get very cold and sometimes we've woken up with like water droplets moisture on our hair so my dad had some extra insulation left over so we didn't have to buy any and we're going to take this frame off and shove it all behind the wall oh, fold it up like a taco there we go oh the insulation that we got shipped to us in the last video is Smart Shield. And the reason that we got this, it's unaffected by moisture or humidity. Big deal, because we just cleaned up a lot of moisture that was up under the mattress. Kelly, you did a good job finding this product, honey. We'll see if it works. Before we did the floor, we decided that we're gonna take this out here all the way and then stuff new insulation or leftover insulation on the wall. This is what we're looking at. This is a forearm's length, an empty cavity with nothing, nothing between us and the outside world except for this. That's it. That is it. I understand it's lightweight, but it's not four seasons. I'll tell you that right now. Everything down here will be so warm. Everything here is okay. It's right here. And I know behind this wall here is foam because this is a foam pressed wall. Perfectly fine, keeps you warm, but from here down, you're basically saying, hey, I'm outside. Oh yeah, this is gonna work out nice. Real nice. Came all the way down to the edge of the window. Got all that filled up. 
And then that plastic cover should push up right there, hopefully. Let's see how this works out for us. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Got changed that fiberglass. That's some nasty stuff. And I have vacuumed in here. I'm wiping the wall. I'll probably wipe this floor again too. I can already tell a difference when I was sitting up there and I put the window back in, it was hotter. Really? Yeah, I can already feel it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. We basically bought this for light issues because at night, if we stayed at a campground and other campers have their lights on all night, or sometimes even while boondocking, the moon is very bright. So it puts a lot of light in here. So this is just a blackout material that we got at a uh, craft store. And we just kind of made our own little Thing. Now we'll put this in that we were talking about earlier. I'm really excited to sleep in here in cold weather. Oh yeah, I'm just excited to see the difference. I feel like I'm building out a spaceship. Is this what the <laughs> lunar lander was I made don't of? know, is it? It looks like <laughs> While I'm sitting up here, I can already feel that this is warm with my body heat against it. So that's a good thing. We do it like this, I guess. Oh, ooh, or yeah, scoot it all the way over to the end over there. Oh, we can cut it and yeah. piece it. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. There oh. it is. That should work. Just go get some tape. Looks like we have just enough for under the bed, but not enough for the window. But it should be okay. We'll just see how it goes. If not, I need to order some more. I can order it. Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Cody just straight up fell. It feels so good to have the truck back. It feels great to get that task done. I'm still itching even after a shower. It's gonna be on me for a little bit. Well, I can't wait to get out here and try this insulation because it's fixing to get cold in the next couple days. But we'll catch you on the other. Bye.